Hello everybody, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to have a quick look into the Tripo SR model which can generate 3D models from simple single images. After building the workflow with you, I will compare it to the CRM model I showed in another tutorial before. And I want to compare the speed and the resulting 3D model and maybe also the VRAM usage so that you can choose the method which fits best for you. For this workflow, you need the Tripo SR custom nodes. You can install them via the manager. I will link them as always in the description below. You also need the Tripo SR model. That should be it. The Tripo SR model is developed by the company Tripo AI and Stability. And I think there will be coming great stuff from this cooperation in the future. Let's start from scratch to build this Tripo SR workflow. First we load our image. Then we need a model loader. Double click on the background and search for model loader, Tripo SR. Then we need the Tripo SR sampler. Connect the model to the model port, the image to the reference image port. You don't need the mask reference, uh, the reference mask for this kind of images, but um, I'm sure uh, there are cases where you uh, better create a mask beforehand because if background and foreground are not really optically separated, it can be hard to distinguish uh, which is which, and therefore you uh, might use a mask. So. But for this kind of image, uh, you don't need it. Then we only need the Tripo SR viewer. And that's it. Completely simple. And I like this very much. The CRM method I showed you before in another video is much more complex, but it can be divided into different parts. So if you don't have a big GPU with not uh, a lot of VRAM, you can try to divide it into steps that might make it possible for you to generate a 3D model despite you don't have lots of RAM. We need to choose the model. In this case, it's called model checkpoint. Point. You have to download it. Oh, it might be come with the custom notes. I'm not sure, but I will link it uh, in the description below anyways. So yeah, let's give it a try. There we go. I think this is pretty fast and really the output is mm, could be better but we are still in the beginning of those kind of models. So I'm sure that in the future there will be great enhancements to another one. Yeah, you see. Another one we used before in the CRM. And you see, it could be better. There might be better images where it is working better. But as an example, this should give us a good overview. So what I want to do now is get some data. So let's bring in my terminal. So let's render it again. And down below, I have a terminal which shows us the profiler output. So the previous generations are viewed here. And on the right side, I show you uh, an overview over my GPU. And here you can see the VRAM which is used. So we can get a feeling how much VRAM the triple SR nodes are using. So let's give it a go. So the VRAM is like 
4 gigabyte. Yeah, the VRAM seems like around 5 gigabyte, which is really great. And you can see down here, the profiler gives us only 1.67 seconds. And this is really fast. So this thing is really fast, in my opinion. Um, so let's try the CRM workflow. Let's mute everything here with Control M. And I already have the CRM workflow here. Let's unmute it with Control M. And yeah, take this image and I will choose the CUDA settings. And let's give this a try. First, I have a look on the GPU settings on the right. And then we will look for the profiler and the timing. So 11 gigabyte, 12, 13, almost. Nineteen, almost twenty, twenty-one, almost twenty-two. So this is a lot of VRAM. And let's have a look to the timing. So it's telling us thirty seconds. This is really a lot compared to the one point seven seconds before. Let's do another one. So we're already 20, 21, 21.8, but this time it was much faster. It was 8.29 seconds. Let's make another one. So 8.5, 8.6. So it seems the first time I, uh, I generated, there had to be reloaded some stuff. So it took a lot longer, but the following uh, generations were much quicker, but it's much slower than the other workflow here, the Tripo SR. The resulting mesh in this case here down looks more detailed but it's also damaged somehow whereas the mesh here looks more simple but a little bit more smooth you can play around with those settings and see if it uh, makes the quality better and what i see here um, we should have used a mask because there is still some floor visible down here. You now know how you use this model and the uh, technique in ConfUI and you have a feeling for which is faster and you have a feeling of the VRAM which is used. So I hope I could help you with this and yeah, keep generating, keep generating. Everything is linked below as always. And I will put links to the scientific papers into the description as well. I hope you liked this rather short video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.